Well, the snow is finally gone, so I'm going to load up the Polaris and bring it on over to the cabin land. It fits on the trailer, but no room to spare. I just got to the cabin here. The snow is gone finally. Uh, lots of birds flying around. Uh, it's a little cool. I'm not sure if we're going to hear some peepers tonight. It's supposed to drop down to 27. Well, I just kindled the fire out here. I'm going to uh, load that up with some hardwood and let it burn down the coals and uh, get the Dutch oven on. And uh, by supper time tonight, I should have a nice rack of ribs going here. And uh, old Frankie and I here, we're just going to do some guy stuff. What's guy stuff, huh? It, all, it entails a chainsaw, and then a little later, have a couple of beers and cook some meat. Yeah, man. Ah, it's good to be here. There's still some patches of snow in the woods. Uh, it's supposed to drop to 27 tonight, and it's said possible snow, but I hope we don't see any of that. But anyway, it's good to be back here. I'm going to take a bunch of measurements inside and uh, come back on a few days or so and start working on finishing this bathroom up. Yeah, man. Good to be here. So he's here and he's going, hey, come on, you haven't thrown the Frisbee yet. What's going on? Huh? He says, you want your Frisbee, don't you, bugger? You do. I know you do. We'll get there. Okay, that's burning down pretty good. I'm going to let those logs there turn into coals. Then I'm going to transfer a bunch of that over to this tub and rekindle it and keep it going in the tub. And then right here, I'll rake down the coals a little bit and I'll place the Dutch oven right on the coals there and put some of the coals on the lid like I did before with the chicken. Nice hot coals right there. Get that Dutch oven sitting right in there, man. So I've got my pot here. I'm going to dice up some peppers and you know, big chunks of onions. I uh, forgot my potatoes, uh, so I don't have potatoes. But And then I'm going to lay the uh, ribs on top of it. I'm going to coat them all up with some uh, barbecue sauce and then bury this in the coals. I'm going to cut the vegetables up big and chunky because I don't want them to turn to mush. Ribs will sit right on there. It'll be good. I just like sweet baby rays. Real nice sauce. Yeah. All righty. Get these things on the coals. Put a little bit of coals around them. And a whole bunch more on top. Generally, you can have a pretty good idea of what the temperature is inside the pot. Uh, if I hold my hand about six or eight inches off the, off the lid like that, and I can keep it there for a long time, then chances are the temp inside the pot is below 300 degrees. Um, if I'm six inches off the lid and after three or four seconds I'm feeling some discomfort, generally that would be around 350. If I put it there and I can't keep it there, then of course the uh, temperature is probably up near 400 in the pot. This one here, I'm probably going to guess right now, it's cooking somewhere around 300 degrees in there. And I'm going to leave it like that for a while. I didn't show it earlier, but I poured in a bottle of beer. I got my Yunling Black and Tan. Uh, something for for all those vegetables and all of that to create a little bit of steam and that'll help to tenderize those ribs. Now today it's about 40 degrees out. There's a steady breeze. So uh, I'm going to monitor this every uh, half an hour or so. Come and check on it. See if I need to add some coals to it. But I think we're in good shape for at least an hour right now. Now if you get yourself a Dutch oven, you don't have real good success on your first attempt. Uh, by all means, don't give up. 
There's a lot of factors that come into play here. When you're cooking outside, there's a lot of things that are going to affect the temperature in that pot. And that'll be the outside temperature, if it's windy out, how much humidity is in the air, what type of wood you're using. I wouldn't recommend trying to do this with a soft wood like a pine or hemlock or spruce or things like that. But if that's all you got, well, then I'd give it a try. But I like to use hardwood coals. They're going to last longer. And it's going to be a lot like a charcoal briquette. A lot of people do use charcoal briquettes. Uh, I just like to do it traditionally like this and using the uh, natural wood coals. Uh, it just makes me feel better to do it and it doesn't cost me anything. Now it's windy today, which is going to keep blowing the heat away. Obviously, it's blowing that smoke right at me. Uh, I keep moving the pot around, but it doesn't matter where I push it to. The uh, smoke keeps coming right at me. Hopefully, the video will come out all right, though. Now, a lot of times I've heard uh, people refer to a large pot as a Dutch oven, um, but this is a true Dutch oven for me. It's got the little legs on it, and it's got a lip around the lid like that to hold the coals. Uh, that's a true Dutch oven as far as I'm concerned. Well, while the ribs are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all this old punky wood. Uh, it's no good for firewood, but it works good for filling in the mud holes. And the corduroy sections are holding up real well. Oh, buddy, yeah. Get up there, I ain't picking you up. killing two birds with one stone right now cutting up all that punky crap that's really no good for firewood but it'll work good in here and I'm gonna lay this in and then later on cover it with uh, some sand and stuff yeah so I'm gonna get this mud hole here uh, filled up I threw in my bags of concrete that we got all hard there that'll be good fill huh how was that that better you pinched one off you're getting all muddy there mister keep it boy likes to play in the mud well, I'm going to get this batch here uh, thrown in the mud hole. Uh-oh, a chickamunk hole. <laughs> There's a chicken monkey in there. <laughs> get him, get that chicken monkey. Get him, Frankie, get him. Get him, Frankie, they get a chicken monkey. You get the chicken monkey. Get him. Don't let him get away, Frankie, get him. Get the chicken monkey. Get that. <laughs> Now I just took the lid off, you can see that nice and tender, look at that, nice and tender, uh, everything's cooking good, nothing's burning, the vegetables aren't burning, nothing, oh these are nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let them cook like this for a little longer, let them steam some more, and then I'm going to put more hot coals on the lid to have more heat coming from above to brown them up, kind of like a broiler. So if I want to have more heat from the bottom, of course, I just have less coals on the top. These have been cooking just perfectly, I'd say. They're nice and tender already. So I'm going to go ahead and leave them cook for another probably 20 minutes. And I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to mound some good hot coals that are burning in that uh, basin over there. And then I'm going to throw a lot of heat on top to brown them up. Okay, I just mounded up some more coals, put more hot coals on the, on the lid there. That'll get those uh, ribs to brown up. And I, like I said, I really like having the fire here continually burning in this uh, wash tub. That way I have all the hot coals I needed, which I did need some more. Like I said, it's fairly chilly and it's a fairly cool breeze today. So uh, I have to put more coals. And then after I'm done cooking here, I can throw that right back in here and I have a nice fire to sit by later on. I'm going to go ahead and scrape the coals off. See, I mounted them up on the cover there, try and put more heat coming down from the top. Hopefully they're browned up. I'll scrape all of that off, open the lid and see what we got. Now I'm going to scrape all these 
mounded up coals right off because I don't want that stuff falling in the food, you know. Anything inside the lip is fine, but when you mound it up like that, you can't really get to the hook in the center there. Now they sell special lid lifters for these Dutch ovens. Now you can go ahead and spend your money on them if you want. Generally I just use a hammer or a crowbar and these work really good. If you try and you, uh, use like a poker from a wood stove or something like that or something with a hook to pull the lid off, it's going to tip and you might dump some ash in your food and you don't want to do that. So um, you can either spend the money on a lid lifter but I use my crowbar or a hammer and it works slick. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now, when I use my crowbar to lift this, see how the lid goes this way. I don't want to come in at an angle. I want to go complete perpendicular to the lid handle. Oh, that was browning up nicely. Nice. Now, I'm not going to lay my, my lid down on anything that's dirty. Let's see how this looks. They're not burnt at all. Look at that. It's falling apart, man. Look, they're not scorched at all. Vegetables. Some of them got a little scorched, but I'm kind of expecting that. I was putting those in to keep the ribs off the bottom of the pot. Look, meat's falling apart. Oh, these are going to be good. See how nicely that lifts off of there? See that? You don't want it tipping. Nice crowbar, works slick. See, I set that up, went about, I was working on the corner of a road, uh, threw some toys for Frankie, uh, just enjoyed myself for a couple of hours here. Been about two and a half hours since I started that. I got the rice on, and I got a pot of water on the wood stove for my shower later. It's been a good day. It's been a great day. I've had a really, really good day today. And that's going to be a great supper. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Boy. Oh, my God. Look at them. Falling apart. Some of those peppers. Mmm. Look at those peppers. Caramelized peppers and onions in beer. Huh? Look at that. A little bit of rice, little caramelized veggies, ribs, huh? Whoa. <laughs> Cooking a perfect meal on a fire outside is very rewarding. In fact, the novelty never wears off. That was some chow. I'm packed. <sighs> Hot shower. I'm gonna hit the bunk. I'm gonna be done. <laughs> what do you think, Frankie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta lie. <laughs> was that good stuff? Yeah, it was good stuff. What is this? <laughs>